Hypothesis testing allows us to test the assumption in regards to a population parameter. This can be done in two fashions, through a one-tailed test or a two-tailed test. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the LA County Ozone Random dataset from the RGuru User's Guide repository. If you would like further assistance loading this dataset, please watch our video, Importing a Dataset from an RGuru repository. The dataset LA County Ozone Random is a random sample of average daily ozone levels taken from 48 days in September and 26 days in February between the years 2000 and 2016. For the examples to come, let's focus our attention on the variable September. This variable has a sample mean of 0 0.04919 and a sample standard deviation of 0 0.008722. Now let's imagine the city of LA would like to prove that the mean ozone level for September is not equal to 0.025. Let's use the summary statistics for September to see if there's sufficient evidence to support their claim. From the analytics pane, hit the analysis dropdown. Scroll down to mean inference and then click on one population. Using summary statistics is easy. Within the data section, we are simply going to input our sample mean, our sample standard deviation, and our sample size. Prior to performing this type of hypothesis test, we are required to type in a variable label within the text box below the data section. September ozone should do. Now below our label text box, there are two subtabs, one for a confidence interval and the other for a test of hypothesis. Let's click on the Test of Hypothesis tab. By default, RGuru sets the significance level at 5%, but this can be edited should you wish to choose a different alpha level. The alternative hypothesis is a mandatory field that seeks to examine if the data provides sufficient evidence to support the claim. In this case, we are looking to prove that the ozone levels for September are not equal to 0 0.025. The dropdown consists of three choices and it's the last one that represents not equal to. Our group can perform a test of hypothesis using a normal distribution, the t-distribution, or two bootstrap methods. However, when using summary statistics to perform a test of hypothesis, we can only use the distribution-based methods. Bootstrap methods can only be used when a data set is selected. We are now ready to click the preview icon and see our results. All test of hypothesis reports begin with the data summary table for the variable of interest. Below that, we see the values for the standard error, the observed statistic, the bounds for the critical region, and the p-value. Arguru even states if the results are significant in the red text below the table. So at the 5% significance level, we can conclude that there is sufficient evidence that the mean ozone level in September is not equal to 0 0.052. Each test also comes with a visual representation of the p-value. The area to the left of the observed value is colored in red, and because we performed a two-tailed test, symmetrically, an equal area is shaded on the right side. The total combined area represents our p-value. Now these same results can be also generated from the raw LA County Ozone Random dataset that I showed you in the beginning of this video. Let's start a new Analytics tab by scrolling back to the Analytics pane and opening another one population mean inference. This time we're going to select the LA County Ozone Random dataset. And in the variable dropdown, click on September. Once your variable is selected, our guru will automatically fill in the summary data and the variable label in the sections below. However, you can still customize your variable label if you would like to do so. Let's do sept ozone. This time I'm going to perform my test of hypothesis using all the methods since I'm using the raw data. The raw data also gives us the option to click on the checkboxes for the normal probability plot and the test of normality. I'm going to leave these unchecked since I already know that the September variable is distributed normally, but for unfamiliar datasets, these can be very useful tools. Let's put back the same alternative hypothesis we used earlier 
and then hit the preview icon again to see our results. As you can see, this method yields the same conclusions we got from earlier with the distribution-based methods. However, now we get two added tables displaying our bootstrap results. Plus, we get their plots. A couple of final notes. First is that our bootstrap results depend on two features, a seed value and a value of replications to be generated. The default seed in Arguru is 100, and the number of replications is 10,000. You can change these values within the dialog boxes located in the Details menu. Secondly, if there is any missing observations in the variable of interest, Arguru removes these NA values, and the analysis is carried on based on the observed cases. If you would like more information and details about performing a test of hypothesis on a single population mean, and the various methods to do so, we encourage you reference the chapter, Inference for Population Mean, from our user's guidebook.